What's up, everybody? Welcome to another uh, installment of ZOMG, our video game trailer reaction show. I am joined by the wonderful Gibby Wally Wang and Malika Lim. And I'm Zach Eubank. We're going to be checking out the Anthem gameplay reveal trailer. Now, there was a really short teaser trailer that came out like the day before the gameplay trailer launched, which I thought was hilarious. There was a teaser trailer for just a day. And then the gameplay trailer dropped. It showed at the Xbox conference and the PlayStation conference. So we're going to be showing the PlayStation 4 version of this. It's exactly the same as the Xbox, which I thought was interesting because they claimed at Xbox that they were like, this is running on Xbox hardware, but it's like beat for beat the exact same. And I'm like, did you just run it through the engine on that? I'm yeah. confused, but whatever. We're going to check it out. If he doesn't know anything about this, yeah, no. I'm geeking out fucking hardcore on this. Do you know anything about this? I don't know anything. Yeah, let's All just right, we're going in blind. We're going in blind. All right, let's do this. Hi, I'm John Warner, game director for Anthem. Running in-game footage engine. Okay. All right, Bioware. It's like nice cloth simulation there. Hey. Praxley. Listen, there's trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? <sighs> I made a mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it, and the price was right. I thought maybe. The facial animation actually looks You're good. Right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there, somewhere. If you could just bring them back, anything you need. Really good. So that we're supposed to believe that's just in-game yeah, seamless is there, man. Is, yeah. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers. The heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. We use a Max? That uh, cinematic camera movement, very impressive as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, exosuits. That's Max. Every player will own an array of exosuits we call jackets. Ah, These suits that. give players superhuman capabilities. Nice. Heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. This looks so fucking pretty. Bam. Yeah. I know, Good. video games are looking better than movies. Nice. Okay, this is what I want to figure quick. out. Just yeah, says level 32 Paul joined. There's says Paul's the name there. I can't tell if this is supposed to be in-game voice actors or if they're simulating talking to each other yeah because honestly i find it refreshing because if it was in-game voice actors it's so casual yeah. that it actually this makes it a more believable experience for me yeah friends. each javelin exosuit has its own unique play style the ranger is balanced and all purpose while the colossus is a tanking powerhouse all right oh, yes. let's see what's up here God, all world that looks so awesome. good. Yeah. Threats can come from any direction. It's a dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. Oh, man. Uh, I'm not sure we want this to is what Andromeda was supposed to be, but this world actually feels alive. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. Oh, okay, cool, cool. We're getting some fire from up ahead. I'll go low. You flank. What the fuck? What the yeah. get the fuck out? Yeah, that means... Get out. No way. Hang in there. Yeah. Almost yeah. there. It's like on that level, maybe even better. Been in there yet? I haven't. Oh, we should do that later with Kim. <laughs> yeah, he 
could use the XP. Okay, so I think they're trying to simulate playing with friends. Yeah, yeah. I you wish, can. I actually kind of wished it was like... That was the voice yeah. acting. Voice acting, because it's so casual and like... It's, it's, I don't know, it's different, but... I think we got some action ahead. Because nobody actually talks like that when we're playing a game together. Yeah, that's what's so funny is I love when we play doobies and everyone's so tactical. Like, we like, got bogeys up ahead when it's really like, Hey, uh, Zach, can you... Uh, Go forward and uh, hey, why don't you stop? Why don't you stop sucking so much, Ify, and actually do something for once? What are you doing? Get off your phone, man! Do oh, better, yeah. Zach. Oh God, it looks so good. Okay. Oh, there are a lot of scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. <laughs> This looks so fucking good. There's a bunch more coming in. Looks fantastic. Okay, I'll get this round. It's like one of those you take a screenshot. That's some Iron Man Jericho shit right here. Oh, <laughs> man. Part of the reason oh, I was hoping it was in-game voice actors is that good. laugh right there when yeah. it was a bomb hit. When the <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, nice. Large-scale world events like Shaper Storm are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind Squat you. What up? Games are beautiful. <laughs> the storm is getting crazy. I mean, just how many of these? So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? Right. All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there. Dude. Yeah, you know. Dude. So, for like. Dude. <laughs> for like all our trailers, I really haven't really done this, but this is going to be the one where I'm going to be super skeptical for. Right? There Me was, too. There was a lot of times where like players were joining in where it's like there's Nobody never been an experience where it's that seamless. And also I find that the bigger and the, the stronger the graphics load in a multiplayer game, the rougher it is just, you know, getting well, Also because they're telling me it's open world. Yeah. And, I, and we all got burned whenever Andromeda came out, and they tell you open world, and, and, you, and you think it's going to be that lush from what they showed you in the trailers. Yeah. And then you get in the game, and you go explore a new planet, and there's nothing there. And it's just a... You have a couple things, but for the most part, it feels like a very barren wasteland. Yeah. And that's the problem with these open world, open planet games where there's... They, they just can't put that much detail in everyone. The detail in that is insane. Yeah. And if it's actually in game, hats off to you, but... But I will say, like, if you do something like Destiny where it's, like, open world to an extent, yeah, yeah. I feel like you can pull that off. I feel like Destiny looks really pretty, and they're able to do that because it's You're so contained. Yeah. But if you try and have, like, a real open world, it just was – like, just some of those moves. Like, when they took down that super big thing and it dropped, I was like, there's no way someone's going to be online with me and we're seeing that thing drop at the same time. It's just – it's 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 kind of rough for me to take just yeah. in multiplayer. I mean, that being said, you and I went into the Spider-Man thing super skeptical. Yeah. And then we saw a dude holding yeah. a controller and playing it. Right. We so were, maybe I was we're like there. Studying their fingers. Maybe we're there. Like, but what? Are, can we still be as cynical as we? Because we went into that yeah. super cynical, 
and then we actually saw somebody play it. So maybe we need to see someone holding a controller and actually doing it. But, but I feel like that's with single player. Like I yeah. think if this was a single player uh, gameplay reveal, I'd be on board. But I, just multiplayer is just a lot harder because now you're taking into account ping. You're taking into account just server load. Like just all those different things kind of make it harder to make things that pretty. Like even like... If, if I'm just trying to go off the top of my head, you know, just trying to get um, like PUBG, you know, yeah. the, how hard they're having a time just optimizing something like that. But granted, that's like almost 100 people in one server yeah. on a huge map. It just like, I don't know. It's less about this itself and more about the fact that we're even having this conversation and we're having this conversation because we have reason to be skeptical there's never it's happened at e3 before we've been burned multiple times like there's so many if you look at e3 versus actual games so many times you'll find videos like that and that i think is what annoys me is the sense of like if you don't have this dope thing to show if you don't have this dope gameplay it's cool even though i do understand that sometimes you have to downgrade for optimization and just kind of realistic and I get how the plan for development changes as you get closer to the release date but I feel like we're also just you know we're everyone's racing everyone's trying to be the next blank blank or try and go head to head with blank so they rush the development process. now they get a long time on this though yeah quarter four of 2018 oh yeah they like they... that's a year and a half away. Yeah, they've it's got they lot. got a lot of time. That's not a lot for a video game. No, though. it's not. But it is. There's a ways to go. What there's I a really, ways to go. What I really enjoyed about the trailer, though, was how staged and cinematic it was. I'm okay, and I kind of don't want this game to be open world. You know, if you I don't could either. have those like perfected, like the way those moments were framed, the way the camera moved, it was fantastic. And I I don't know what this fetish is for open world yeah i mean i I think horizon zero dawn did it best sure because but they were really good about making me take a path they wanted me to go down so i was constantly being led down a path that they were saying you should probably go this way so it was it was manufacturing those moments so that made me feel psychologically like i have the ability to do whatever i want but then it was cleverly saying look at this little trail here this ledge here that you want to stand on and let me give you this really sweet ass cinematic right now that always felt like oh beautiful absolutely gorgeous um but there was i mean even though it was technically kind of open world there were still sections and areas that would you know preload in and stuff like that so it i don't don't know if it's like true open world like some you know not like Andromeda where it's like planet, 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 or no man's sky where you're going planet to planet to planet. And those always feel like they fall short, you know? Because you don't have that designer's touch, that artist's touch, that art director, creative director's touch combing over every moment. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, but, I'm okay with non-open world. Yeah. I, I want a cinematic gaming experience. I But I'm a gamer that wants to go into something and have a feeling and be moving forward. Yeah. Less so than, than sandboxing. I'm not a sandboxer. Yeah. I don't have time to sandbox. Yeah. But, you know, that being said, I do think the Frostbite engine is one of the best engines on the market. I I mean, I'm a big Battlefield f- guy. So, like, I know I've seen the power of the Frostbite engine. So I'm not saying that it's impossible, but I'm saying that, you know, just the smoothness that could be ex- expected it probably isn't going to be that smooth. Just and I think it's less on some at, at in some ways less on the developers and more on just where we're at just with connections yeah. on the Internet. Yeah, we, it's really hard to get Google Fiber everywhere. Yeah, it's not easy. Any other thoughts you had on this? I mean, we don't know much. It's still a long ways away. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to be paying attention to. Uh, yeah, very interested yeah. in the world. I'm I am hyped, but I'm very skeptical. And I was early on. I was crazy hyped for Andromeda, crazy hyped, and that was one of the biggest letdowns I've ever had. And I know some people. I really enjoyed it. Okay, well there you go. Uh, I I found myself constantly being taken out of the experience and wasn't really into it at all, but. Uh, I know that you can fight me on the internet. Go for it. Uh, all right, guys. Well, let us know. Everyone's going to fight you. I think people are going to fight me. Oh, probably. Sorry, I liked it. Yeah. Uh, no comment. Worked at the Bioware booth for Mass Effect Andromeda at PAX East. 
and you want them to hire you again. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure to check out our other trailer reactions uh, down in that way. I think it's over, or maybe it's over there. Well, well, you know, it's below. You know, Click on it's it. Around. And don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Bye.